Okay, here's a nice, nice uh, trick question. So you've got a boat, a uh, nice boat. I didn't draw that one. And you've got a cliff, and they give you the distance from the boat to the cliff, uh, but they want to know how high up that cliff is. Let me just draw it again. So here's my thing. I've got 2,700 feet here. I don't know this. We can call that H for height, maybe. And this angle is 24 degrees and 50, I think it's minutes. Let me look. Yep, minutes. Okay, so um, if you have a calculator that does degree, minute, second, you can just plug that in um, if you know how to do it. But you can also convert it to a decimal degree, and this is how you do it. So if you have uh, 24 degrees, 50 uh, minutes. So what I'm wanting to do is I want to convert this into what part of a degree is that. And I know that there's 60, degree, 60 minutes in a degree, uh, if there were seconds here, I would do the same thing to go from seconds to uh, minutes. Maybe I'll do that. This one doesn't show it, but it would be zero seconds, right? So what I do is I take zero and I divide it by 60, and then I'd add that number to the 50. So in this case, I'd have 24 degrees, and zero divided 60 is zero. Zero plus the 50 would still be 50 minutes. <laughs> That might seem silly, but if you have a second thing, that's how you do it. Then <clears throat> um, I'm going to take, I know there's 50 minutes in a degree, so I'm going to take this 50 and divide it by 60, um, and then I'm going to add that to the 24. So if you go 50 divided by 60, I think it gives you uh, 0.833 repeater, I think. Uh, maybe I should do that. <laughs> Uh, okay, calculator, 50 divide 60, yeah, that's right. Okay, so then I take this number and I add it to the 24, so it would be 24.833, and I'd like to keep a few decimal places in there. So 24 degrees 50 minutes is the same thing as 24.833333 degrees. Now, in the question we have up here, let me just go back up and set that one up. Here's my right angle. If this is the angle in question, this side over here is the opposite side, and this side here is the adjacent side. So according to my Soka Toa thing, if you like doing that, uh, I want to use an angle, because I don't care how far it is as the crow flies to get to the top of the cliff. I just want to know how high the cliff is. So I don't care about this side. That would be my hypotenuse. So I'm just looking for an opposite and an adjacent ratio. There's my formula right there. So tan of an angle, opposite over adjacent. So the tan of 24.83333 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which I don't know, over the adjacent side, which is 2,700. And then solve from there. Okay, I hope that helps you out.